Good evening. Tonight's match is just about to get underway. Trevor so Brooking will be watching it with me. Thanks, Peter. I'm really anticipating this one. Let's hope it lives up to all those expectations. Here we go. Despite this being an exhibition match, I know for sure there are some individuals out there who will give it their all as they do in every football match they play at any level. here and plenty of goals we hope both teams will be aiming to keep it tight in the early stages that was all set up by the through ball it's one oh he got under that one never threatened the goal well it exposed the hole in the defense and he's sorry he didn't score still running Good running off the ball here. A chance to whip it in. The manager will be disappointed with the keeper there, but the defence reacted well. Now he's got a chance to whip it across from the right. Oh, a vital clearance. Quick thinking from the defender. Knocks it through to the front line. 15 minutes gone in the first half. Be disappointed there, not enough accuracy on the shot. Yeah, but this game has started at quite a pace. Yes, I have. It will be hard to keep it going like this for the rest of the game, Peter. Moving up the field, stretching the play. He tries his luck. And that shot comes off the keeper's gloves and out of play. It's a corner. To the near post. And it's towards goal. Over the bar. Really threatening the goalkeeper there. He's on the rampage. Takes the shot. No, he didn't hit that one well enough. Not a bad effort, though. I think he made the right decision to have a go. Perhaps he was unlucky on the strike. Possession lost there. The defender was quick to see this one. Well, this could be interesting. Not a bad effort there, but not accurate enough to be threatening. Goes back to basics, I think, Peter. The shot just has to be on target, particularly from there. Back to the keeper. Keeper didn't take his eyes off the ball there. He's still on the run. He's looking for support. Attack came to nothing. Wins it in a good attacking position here. They can swing it in from the right wing. Completely mistimed his challenge then, free kick given. And that's a yellow card for him. Maybe a harsh decision it would seem. But he didn't get the ball, and that's what matters to the referee. The referee blows his whistle, it's the end of the first half. And the two managers will have a lot to say to their teams, I would think. No one likes a goal this game, do they Trevor? Of course not, that's not why we love watching football. I think we'll see some more attacking play in the second half, as the teams try to push forward. So it's nil-nil, let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. We're off! Will the manager's half-time talks have the desired effect? 
let's see which team can take control in the second half. And it's hit forward. No, nope, it's been cut out. Still him. Good footwork creates the counter attack. Looking for support now. There it is. And he has a go. And that just skimmed past the right post. It's very difficult to keep absolute concentration in situations like that. Well, no one's looking for the ball here. He's looking in trouble. He goes on himself. Finds a teammate. In the penalty area. And he's having a go. Not a bad try, but it lacked accuracy. Not a bad attempt, but it just didn't have the quality. Struck it from distance. No, that wasn't going in. Not a bad try, though. Well, there's an excellent bit of pressure up front to make the chance. They'd be sorry, though, they just missed the goal. his man in space on the left within shooting range and he's gone for it a quick reaction from the keeper there to punch it out corner it's sailing across the face of goal danger averted the corner is picked out of the air by the goalkeeper we have players warming up on the touchline still their ball good attacking position too now inside the penalty area. The ball is over the line, it's a goal kick. Neither side able to find a goal here with the final whistle approaching. Win possession, the attack came to nothing. Minimum of two minutes to be played for stoppages. The clock's ticking, a good ball in, might win it for them. There's the final whistle. Nothing could separate these sides, the players put so much effort in, but in the end no one could come up with a winner. And that's the end of tonight's broadcast, with me, Peter Brackley, and my co-commentator, Trevor Brooking. I've oh, really enjoyed it, Peter. A good evening's football. And so, until the next time, it's goodbye from both of us. Thank you.